Christmas is right around the corner, and if you have not gotten your list of Santa yet, you are way behind. That's okay. I'm going to help you out today. I'm going to tell you 10 things that you should have on your wish list, and we're going to talk about what you should not put on your wish list and why. So stick around. This is going to be good. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success. I do hope that you're going to join our little community. Now time is of the essence here, so let's do this. Number 10 on the list is parchment paper. I know this does not sound very exciting. However, you are going to use a lot of parchment paper through this crafting journey with your vinyl. You're going to use it for your heat press, going to help you line up layered decals. You are going to want parchment paper on hand and it is not a whole lot of fun to buy. And if you run out in the middle of a project, you're going to be upset. So having extra on hand is an excellent idea. And if you can find it in your stocking for Christmas, that's a huge bonus. Number nine is transfer tape. Again, it's not that exciting to buy, but it is extremely hard to get the wrong kind of transfer tape. So having somebody else purchase it for you is not very risky. It's something that you have to have in order to work with vinyl. Perfect stocking stuffer. Get a big stocking this year. Number eight is cutting mats. You can get a variety of cutting mats. So there is the light tack, the standard tack, and the strong tack. Ideally, you would have one of each on hand with a couple of extra regular tack. Those are the ones that you're going to use the most. I can get a mat to last me anywhere from four to six months usually, but if you have an incident and end up cutting through one, it's game over. If you need to learn how to prolong the use of your mats, I do have a video on that. You can go check it out after we're done here. Coming in at number seven is extra blades. Blades are another consumable that you are going to go through. If you cut a lot of cardstock or chipboard, you're going to go through the blades quicker than if you're just cutting vinyl. And actually, I would recommend having one auto blade for cardstock and chipboard and one for just vinyl and keeping them separate. But blades are another thing that you definitely want to have an extra on hand so that you can avoid a trip to the craft store in the middle of your project. Number six is the pick scan mat. And I have not done a video on this yet, but I really, really need to. The pick scan mat is used somewhat like a print and cut, but it gives you a larger area to work with because you do not have to print the registration marks. Number five. We are talking about storage now. And you can ask for the cloth storage bins or the pla hard plastic storage containers, file cabinets, shelves, whatever you think is going to work best for your space, but you are going to need storage. When you get into this hobby, you are going to find that you are the collector of all things. It just happens. You buy a silhouette and you are a hoarder of all craft supplies if you weren't already. Anyway, whatever storage you think you're going to need, make sure you double it. Number four, if you are running the Cameo 5, you're going to want the electrostatic mat. Now this one is a little bit more pricey, but totally worth it. I did not purchase the electrostatic mat for the Cameo 5 because I have the Curio 2. And I do run the electrostatic mat on the Curio 2. I didn't think it would be necessary for me to have it for both machines. If you are running the Curio 2, you may want to ask for the debris tray since that already comes with the electrostatic bed. Coming in at number three are all of the power accessories. Now, if you are running the Cameo 5, that means you're going to want the heat foil pens and the embossing tool. The Curio 2, you can add the power engraver, the leather punch tool, and both machines can work with the new pen adapters. The pen adapters and the leather tool are definitely on my list. I have the heat foil pen. I have the power engraver. I just ordered the embossing tool. It will be here on the 11th. Coming in at number two is a subscription to my favorite, Creative Fabrica. They have so many choices for different files that you can use. It's amazing. And on top of that, 
they have Creative Spark where you can go in and create your own artwork to use along with Silhouette Studio. Coming in at number one, the one thing that you absolutely must put on your Christmas list this year, if you do not have it yet, is an upgrade to business edition. As of right now, it is on sale. It's normally $99.99. At the time I made this video, it was on sale for $50. Either way, it is totally worth every penny. Just the ability to export your designs as an SVG or a PNG or a JPEG, totally worth it. Not to mention all of the other features that it adds in. We have covered everything that you should ask for. Well, we've covered a lot of what you should ask for for Christmas if you are just getting into this hobby. Now I'm going to let you know what you should not ask for. You should not ask for vinyl, cardstock, or blanks because... Nobody is going to buy you exactly what you want. Only you can pick that out. You can ask for pink vinyl. That's fine. But there are about 120 different colors of pink out there. You're not going to get what you want. So if you must have all of the things, ask for a gift card, either Amazon or your local craft store. Either way, make sure you have the funds to purchase that stuff for yourself. Anyway, I hope that this video was helpful. I'm going to go finish my Christmas list now. You go create something amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.